Now, um, what companies in your mind are known for wowing customers? Some, some of that I thought of was like, I thought of Whole Foods, mm -hmm. um, Apple, um, you've got uh, Southwest Airlines, Starbucks. Are there any other companies that you look to and go, man, they set the standard? Uh, Disney. Okay. Disney's D phenomenal. Dis now, just as an example of wowing the customer, you told me a story the other day at church, which just blew my I think Noel, your wife, your beautiful wife, told me the story at church. Yeah. You're going to Disney World, and somebody got sick, right? Yeah, one of my sons got dehydrated. It was towards the last days of, of Disney, and we said, hey, let's um, let's go. Let's get the park um, the park hopper pass, which is an upgraded pass so that you can go from park to park. We said, we're going to go to every park. Okay. We got on there. Again, I have six kids, and we went about 30 feet in the main street, and he threw up everywhere. <laughs> Just right there in the no, middle of Main loses Street. It. So I apologize, Mickey. You know, you had to clean your shoes, but that's how it works. Did he get it on his shoes? No, we actually, but okay. he might have. Okay. So, um, so anyway, um, we we went and had went, we we stayed in that one park for the rest of the day, and we made sure we took care of our son and put it, took him in the air conditioning, got him got water in his system, and and everything was fine. But I thought, you know, I paid for an upgraded, you know, uh, service, but I wasn't able to do it because. My son got sick. Yeah. So I called and said, you know, is there a way that I can? Um, we had a good time. We had fun. But can I get a um, a refund on on that part? It probably would have been a refund of about two hundred dollars. Yeah. And they they responded with, um, you know, send us the information, send us your tickets, and I sent it all to them, and they were verifying that what I was saying was accurate. And then they asked me, so are you telling me you didn't have a magical time? And you know, I was like, well, you know, my son got sick. You know, I, I guess, I guess we didn't. Yeah. You know, but you know, the rest of the days we had a good time. So she turns around and says, well, because you didn't have a magical time on that day, and I noticed on the on the day before that you guys left early, and I said, well, we did leave early because my kids were all worn out. Yeah. And she said, so we're going to go ahead and send you two free all day park hopper tickets for your entire family, which is eight of us. You know, I think it was eighteen hundred dollar value or something of that insane nature. Um, um, so that next time you can come and um, and have an, a magical experience, and we did, and and we went back a couple of years later. I told hundreds about this story, yeah, and uh, and and when I look at that, I always go to that with Chick Fil A, saying, I remember what the Disney did for me, and I was walking away going, that's amazing. Now I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, we're trying to help the folks out there that maybe have a business and for they're having a hard time because people always say, you need to generate word of mouth. You ever talk to a business owner, they say, well, you know. If you ever talk to a successful company, they mm -hmm. say, well, all of our business comes from word of mouth. Well, that's wonderful, but how do you generate the word of mouth? And and so I'm just trying to give some ideas here maybe to help the entrepreneur out there that feels like, well, that's great for Disney and that's great for Chick-fil-A, but what about for my business? Mm -hmm. And so uh, one, of the co one of the companies I work with is an appliance store. And in this appliance store, I convince these guys to start making fresh baked cookies uh, Every single day, they have all these great appliances. Right. I'm like, why don't you fire them up? You know, make cookies, have milk. People come in, offer it to them. Well, you know, put out a tin out front, do some fun things, make you know, do inflatables for the kids on the weekend. And they're going, we're an appliance store. Why would we do inflatables? And I'm like, because humans buy appliances, and usually the humans who buy the appliances are the wives, and usually the wives have the kids, and if the kids come, then they plant, and they're just having a big booming year because we've got inflatables and cookies in the appliance store. So if, let's pretend for a second, you put on the hat, thinking cap for a second. Right. You and I go in together and we buy uh, Arthur's Muffler Shop. Awesome. How can we wow the customer? What are some ideas you would have if we're, you know, instead of just giving me you know, that invoice, where it's printed out on that old school paper, mm -hmm. where it's like, e -e 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 -e. and it's half greasy, half greasy, and the guy with the fingers yeah. that are all dirty, and he's typing on the computer keyboard that's just nasty, and he types with the two fingers. You know, right. how do we go from there to wowing the customer? We just replaced the muffler. How are we sure. going to wow? Them? Well, I would say let's start with what is the experience when the person walks in. Okay, you know, the person is expecting. I mean, no one's thrilled to go to a muffler shop. Okay. you already know you're going to have to spend some money. You already know that you're going to have to um, um, do something you didn't want to do. So we're walking into the muffler shop, okay? We're yep. walking in. Let's got a pretend this is our. There. Let's pretend this is our lobby. For some reason, it's it's doing a lot of Chick Fil A business too. But no. Well, anyway, so you have this muffler shop. You walk in the entrance here, okay? Talk to me about the experience that you would create here if you okay. have this muffler shop. So for me, when I walk into a lot of muffler shops, I would walk in. You probably smell um, the smell of gasoline. Yeah, um, true. Or, or oil. And oil. so it would be. What does it smell like? 
Yeah, okay, so let's go with the smell. So you would identify, and we don't have to get into the specifics tonight, maybe, unless you want to, but we want to talk about the smell. Yeah. 